In this video, I'm going to quickly run through the derivation of the time dilation uh, equation for special relativity. So the idea here is we're comparing um, the movement of a photon from some through some distance, which will be straight up and down from the observer of somebody, let's say, that's in the moving frame of reference. This is the moving frame perspective. And for somebody that is observing it, the photon will be traveling like this, where this distance represents the motion of the frame in the same time period. So if we take these two different motions, we can put them, or these three different vectors, we can put them together into one right angle triangle. It can go straight down. That's the motion from the moving frame perspective. We call that ds. This is the motion of the object itself. I'll call that do. Uh, let's call that motion of the object to keep that as clear as possible. And this is the distance traveled by the light from the observer's perspective. Assuming there's no acceleration here, we can use our uniform motion equation to say that distance is equal to velocity times time. So this will be the speed of light times the time from the moving frame perspective, or Ts. This will be the uh, motion of the actual object, which is equal to the velocity of the object, times the time from the observer's point of view, because it's the observer who's watching the object move. And here is the actual distance they see light travel, so the speed of light times the time that will be observed by the observer. Now we can relate all three, three of these things using the Pythagorean theorem, h squared equals a squared plus b squared. So c, t0 squared is equal to um, c, t, s squared plus the motion of the object that is that the photon is bouncing up and down in, let's say the spaceship or whatever you want to call it. I can distribute the squared into the brackets. Then I can move everybody with the observer's time over to the left hand side. Now I'm going to divide everybody by the speed of light squared to get all of that stuff onto just one term. I'm going to factor my TO squared out. Uh, divide both sides by that 1 minus b squared c squared. And then finally square root both sides. And so I can relate the time associated with the motion of the photon in the frame that views itself as stationary but is the moving frame perspective to the time that an observer would experience as it sees the photon travel the greater distance. We can see it's divided here, which means the observer will experience more time than the moving object, and so the moving object will feel as though its time has been dilated or stretched or one second last for longer than it otherwise would have. 